I find your lack of belief troubling. Hi guys, and welcome to the Doomfist analysis video, where you send me your gameplay and I coach you on everything you did good, bad, and tell you what you could benefit from and how you can improve. If you would like to be featured in these videos, then all you have to do is post your video to YouTube, then send me an email with the link to the video at LamborghiniMercy at gmail.com. Don't forget to title your email Doomfist Analysis along with your rank and username, and that is all you have to do. All I ask is that you do not send hate messages to the people sending in their videos for the review. This is to help improve people and motivate them to become better Doomfist mains in the future. Now, enough being said, let's get started. Today we are in gold, not, I'm looking at this for some reason. <laughs> Today we are in diamond actually. And I forgot who sent this to me. Who sent this to me? We'll find out in the game. I'm, I'll, I'll announce your name um, somewhere at the front or something. Uh, somewhere up, like on the top something when the game starts. But we're going to jump right into it so I can figure out who's actually sent this to me. But let's get, we're on Rialta right now. He's already taking the flying route. All right. <laughs> kind of messed up your jump there, but that's okay, man. All right. It's a great thing to be flanking right here, actually, because they're on the ground. It'll be a lot easier to kill them and push them into your team. That is not a good idea. <laughs> Well, the Mercy, okay, I'm not gonna say anything about that, it's okay. That's a big, that was a big problem I had with what you, if I can move my mouse. It's a big problem what I had, and I had with what you did when you were going up to them. First off, if you're, if they're not gonna, they're gonna be up here in the high ground, I would wait for them to engage. I'll stay right here, like behind them or something, or I would go behind them and try to go up top. Cause what you did right here, you used your uppercut to get up there, and then you were going to attack while and while they were looking away from you the problem with that is if you would have attacked right there and you would have missed your rocket punch it would, it would be easier for them to kill you since you didn't have your seismic slam so wait for and so try to make a more safe approach when you're going to going to go behind them and want to skip that i think you got rest you did get rest <laughs> Ah, you too far in, man. <laughs> ah, how unfortunate. It's an unfortunate point of events. That's right, back up and re regroup. Nice. <clears throat> ah, don't do that, man. Don't do that. Back up, back up. I'm going to show you something else real quick. Let me rebind re it. When Genji is dancing around the point, you cannot punch You cannot punch him when he's on the payload right now. The only thing that you can do is wait for him to hit the ground and then seismic slam him and then uppercut him. That's the only way you're going to be able to punch him because he's dancing around this payload. Your punch is just going to bounce off the payload or just to go, sometimes you fly above it, which is what happens some of the time. But you want to slam him when he's by the payload, wait for him to hit the ground and then slam him and then uppercut him right now. He's going to try to, he's going to most likely get away, but it's a lot better than trying to punch him and use all your abilities to try to get him. The slam, the slam wasn't reading this there, right there. Right there, but that's okay. You still got the mercy in. Nice. <laughs> that was lucky. <laughs> now, right here, I would have actually backed up. Or would have been a great idea to back up. Probably wouldn't have. <laughs> Another misuse of the um, side slam, but that's okay. Another thing I see you doing a lot. I see you doing this a lot. You're charging your rocket punch like to its full extent and waiting for something to happen. Um, by the way, the quality is pretty bad right now. But you're charging your rocket punch to um, fully thinking. I, I think you're trying to see it does more damage. No, the second the bars hit to the fourth one, it does its maximum damage. You don't have to wait. You don't have to wait um, fully for your and for the charge one because if you would have hit the Reinhardt while he was right there, you would have most likely been able to stop him from shattering, and you must most it most likely would have been able to stop him from actually doing any real damage to your team. So don't charge a rocket punch all the way up. You don't. It's not really that necessary. I mean, don't charge it up all the way and then just wait. Don't charge it like fully until it releases. Release it the second it charges up fully, or release it when you when you see a target in in hand. And Reinhardt was in hand like a lot of times. Oh, you got lucky, man. <laughs> nice, nice. I oh, could have actually gotten there by just punching over there. 
but it's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Hey, nice flag route going up to the top. You should go to McCree right now, actually. Or, or Hanzo, since he's right there. Actually, it would have been better if you just slammed him and then grabbed him, because now you have no ability to get away. Yep. Your team got it, though. Oh, nice, dude. You landed a turn punch, man. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Are you getting back in the fight right here? Usually on the bridge, it's, hu it's, it's great for you to hang at the edge and not go up there. The problem I have with your, when you're flanking, the big problem I have is, is they have a diva. And you just single ulted the diva. It was, it was unnecessary, but... The, the huge problem I'm having, <laughs> the huge problem I'm having with, with what you're doing with your um, flanking route, you're using too much resources to get to the flanking route. I would I would rather you use your uppercut and then do your rocket punch to get up there than to use your slam every time you kind of go somewhere. On top of that, when you're flanking, make sure that no one can follow you. If if they have a diva, they're the diva can chase you down, especially especially when you have no abilities, and she can just melt you down if you don't have no abilities. So I advise. Like, like that again, like, I mean, that, that worked a lot better, but McCree was right there. I thought you saw him. That's right. Like that time. I mean, like that time. There, um, it would, really wasn't beneficial for you to actually go behind them because the Debo Bomb was coming in and you didn't have your ult either. So you went in without your ultimate and you went in without any abilities. And it was pretty much easy for them to kill you right afterward. So be more um, conservative of your, your, of your um, abilities right now. No, don't go after the Zen. Don't do it. All right, now right here would be would have been a greater time for you to go flank right there. Like you can go up top right now since the Diva isn't there, and since the Diva should, uh, and since your entire team is there, I'm sorry. I would not advise going at the Diva. Ooh, nice turn, man. One thing I see that you're really good at, like you're playing at very high sensitivity right now. I can tell by looking at your um the way you're turning, and you have a clean control of it instead of like there's like a lot of gameplay that I've seen like where they have very high sen sensitivity, but the control for their high sensitivity is not like not there. They're just playing for it because I tell them that it's good. Like I can see right like right now your turns of like crisp. I see you're actually um how would I say it? You're making use. Uh, you're making use of your abilities with the and with the turns, and I see that you have like a clean understanding of um, when to turn, how to turn, and where the target's gonna be at with your turn. So that's why I really like that, man. Knowing your sensitivity is really good, man. I'm a junk right now. Now good idea to go in right now. It'd be better to go in. You can do it at risky stuff when you have your ultimate. But now, not not really. Or when your team goes in. Even when your team goes in, it's probably still not a good idea because they can easily melt you down. But they have a Zenyatti now, so it should be it should be easy food for you. Is this Diva ever gonna put up her defense matrix? Ooh, that was you got lucky. <laughs> I got to the junk rat, junk rat, junk rat. Huge. Huge, nice escape, nice escape. Another thing, another thing. Um, when the hog was when the hog was healing, uh, let me see. Real quick. When the hog was healing right here, whenever you see a hog trying to get away and he's healing, punch him immediately instead of trying to charge up right there. Because if you punch, if you were to punch him immediately right there, you would have most likely gotten gotten a hit on him instead of um, waiting for him to do something. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff, good stuff, guys. I love the push right here. Nice. Your gameplay is so far, man. I like your gameplay, man. I'm going to skip the rest of this real quick. All right, this is a, this is a great spot for you to be flanking right now. This is where I always usually start to match off, match up on the defense. On defense, I usually start off like right in the corner right here. And I have like the kneel position. If you have the kneel position, you're going to be able to see who's coming around the corner and you can see who's coming this way as well. So it'll give you an opportunity to go in and hit anyone off the bridge once you're ready.
Nah, I wouldn't chase the Genji. I wouldn't chase the Genji. I right, know. Back up. Back up. Back up. Ah, man. When you found out, and when um the second you did not get the kill off the Genji, you should have retreated <laughs> because their, their entire team would have been there. So it, it would have been beneficial for you to retreat after that. Oh no no no! Don't got don't got the re oh. <laughs> well, usually I rec recommend you, but you got the kill. But so. Huge man, <laughs> body. <laughs> oh, you missed the honor behind you, man. Wait, how did you? Wait, who did you punch? Oh, you punched the Brigida. Okay. You didn't really need your ult there, but that's okay. The fight was over. And just a uh, like, uh... oh, you didn't need that either. That's okay. Just, I mean, this is just like a little tip for everyone who's trying to play defense. If the fight is, like, I understand, like, sometimes you want to use your ultimate to, like, save your life. But there are times where you don't need to use your ultimate. Like, there are a lot of times where you don't need to use your ultimate. Like, if you're if you're about to die and three people on the enemy team are already dead, then it, it's 90% of the time you do not need to use the ultimate if you're about to die. Just let the enemy, and you have, like, six people alive as well. You, you, don't, need to, you don't need to use your ultimate. It will just be wasting an ultimate and... Having a, and um, saving it for the next fight will be a lot better, and your life will be, I mean, will be a great sacrifice for it. Even though you get it very fast, it's still, and still prudent that you um, not use it. Ooh, nice hook hog. Wait, your, oh shit! I think you're dead. How did they not kill you right there? Not a great hook. Oh, we shouldn't have gone in right there. Oh, you got you got the skill, nice. And you got away, nice. Ah, oh, punch him. You can't miss it, man. All right, your target should right now should be the D. Oh, never mind, she got back in the neck. She just slid off the wall. I'm loving these turns, man. I like I like how I have your have a hold on your. Your um, your sensitivity, man. I really do. Bunch Reaper. <laughs> Look at that 360, man. <laughs> right there, huge, huge. And you got away from him. Nice, man. You have a main now. Oh, poor Reinhardt. You can actually get that. Nice. You didn't even have to use ultimate. I ain't no ultimate. Your uppercut either. That's nice, man. I feel like I'm talking to you through the video because the more I to talk to you, the more um, <clears throat> the more um, the better I see your I see your gameplay becoming, man. <laughs> the, the little punt, the, the little tap, man. <laughs> All right, you should be too, too close to Brigida, man. Too close to Brigida. Too, too far in now. Getting too cocky, man. Too cocky, man. I love it, man. Nice max damage. Oh, yeah, and you're getting away. <clears throat> Alright, it's the final moment, man. <clears throat> Y'all have to win this, man. Y'all have to win this. I believe, I believe. Brigida, nice. Another Meteor Strike, nice. Huge, man. Huge, man. May, May, don't let him kill a Reinhardt. Got it, bro. Got it, man. Huge. Alright, the D was the only one you have to worry about now. Oh, oh, she got ulted. That's a first. Oh. <laughs> Bro, I think that's a GG right there. That should be a GG right there. I think y'all got it, man. I got it to Brigida right now. <laughs> Brigida's one. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. Jeez. Reaper, Reaper, Reaper. Y'all got this. Y'all got this. <laughs> GG, man. <laughs> Popping off at the end there, man. I really like, I'm, I'm sorry. 
I'm really I like I, the like I said before. I'm really like that you have a hold of your sensitivity, and you didn't get played the game. That's okay. I like how you have a, a keen hold of your sensitivity, man. Like every every time I seen you um, use um, control, not controller. Every time I seen you use like a turn or one of your abilities, um, it was mo most of it was precise. <laughs> it was um, <clears throat> like some people can argue that and that. <clears throat> It looks somewhat akin to mouse and keyboard, but not not really too and too far off. I say it's somewhere in between. Like um, I say, like damn, I'm trying to see how to explain myself. Not mouse and keyboard. Ain't smoothie. That's what I'm trying to say. Ain't smoothie. Ain't, it's akin to um, ain't smoothie. If that's what you have right now, I don't know. I haven't um, been out for ain't smoothie in a long time because on, on thing the ain't smoothie is what helps you um, turn faster. I think it has something to do with. Um, uh, that's a word for it. That's a word for it. Ah, uh, I think I think of it later. I think if I think of it later while I'm talking, I'll I'll put that back out there. But it was and everything was more precise with every turn that I've seen you do. You have a clear understanding of your sensitivity. You it works very well for you, man. I don't think you should change it unless you're going to go higher and you want to change it. But I personally don't think you should change that sensitivity because if from where from what I'm seeing, you have no problem with your sensitivity and. The um most of the problems I'm I'm, I'm just gonna get to most of your problems first, and then I'm gonna get to the like the good things that you're doing. Most of the problems that I'm seeing you're doing right now is the use of your abilities. Like there are times where I see you use your abilities, where I'm like, oh, you didn't need to use your abilities there. You could have um gotten away with it. Like if you're trying to flank someone, you don't need to use your cyber slam to like your cyber slam should be your your way of getting out. You can use if, especially if you're going high ground. If you're going high ground and you cyber slam into the enemy. Let's say there's a reaper up there. Well the. <clears throat> You could use your rocket punch, yes. It'll be your, it'll be the fast way out as well. But if they, if they started chasing you, if they started chasing you, your rocket punch will come back a lot faster than your cyclic slam would. So you have um, a faster way of getting out even more when someone tries to chase you. So use, like for instance, uppercut to um, rocket punch to get somewhere else instead of using your cyclic slam to get up there. Because if something is up there trying to chase you, you have more time of trying to get away when that rocket punch comes back online. If you know what I'm saying. Um, another thing I see you do and, and do a lot, which I, um, what I got you from the beginning was charging your rocket punch to its full extent for no reason, um, and it it made like your it made the enemy team like play and made it made the um, enemy team get away with things they shouldn't have got away with, or it made people get away with uh, a lot of things when they should be when it should have been punched by the rocket punch. Um, the uh, what's it called? Like, and like for instance, when the Reinhardt was by the payload and you charge your rocket punch all the way when he was clearly in your sight to punch him, and he ended up shattering your team because you didn't punch him at that exact moment. But if you would have shattered him and then uppercut him in a, and right afterwards, he would have most likely missed the, sh missed the shatter and the slam would have and the slam would have actually hit when he was in the air, which would have been great for your team. And so the one thing I, I believe that you should work on is one, your abilities. I mean, learn to manage those a lot more, man. Um, learn to, um, what was I say? Learn more uses for your, uh, for your rocket punch besides just the, um, basic combo. Another thing would be, would be, don't be too, like, on the defense, it's okay to be, um, somewhat aggressive on the defense. Like, cause on defense, it's more forgiving because the team, the enemy has to come to you in order for them to actually get any value off of. So, when um when you're on defense it's okay to be somewhat aggressive not too aggressive because not like on attack on attack if you be aggressive um it's harder for you to get away because their their team they're not going to you and they're more prepared for whatever you're throwing at them because they're defending but on attack you have to go to them and that's what makes it a lot more harder to play doomfist on attack doomfist is better on defense and i'm more of a I'm more of a defensive doomfist myself, <clears throat> and I see that you're. I see in your gameplay that you can be more of a defensive doomfist if you if you um, improve on the things I just told you about. But other than that, I really like everything. I really like the gameplay that you sent me, man. I really enjoyed it right now. I, I enjoyed um, your gameplay, and I enjoyed that pop off at the end of the game, man. And I really do. I, I appreciate you for sending your bot VR to me as well. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm feeling a little bit sick today, so don't worry about me, guys. But I. Um, Pretty much it for this VOD, I mean, VOD review, guys. I want to thank all of you for sending me your VOD reviews. Um, continue to send your VOD, review, VOD reviews, guys. I just have one thing to say about your VOD reviews. I cannot review like things like free for all and quick play because that's like a free. That's like um, there's no order in it and there's no no competitive atmosphere. And I can't tell you how to play the character in quick play because no one's actually following any rules and it's not really you're not really cooperating with your team. So I would say to send me only competitive gameplay. 
Like, that's the only way I'm be able to analyze something. If it's if it's not in competitive, if not in um, if it's not in what's the word? If it's not in competitive, then I can't um bar review it because it's not like I said, it's not calm. But thank you for all for who do who do send me your videos. I'll I remember remember every Friday I I do a bar review. <clears throat> so if you want your beauty, if you want your video reviewed, then please send it. And then please send me send me more, man. Send me more. Um, in re, in result. I can't speak today, please. <laughs> in regards to streaming, I'm I'm a, <clears throat> this Sunday. I'm gonna make a video. I'm gonna make a video. It's gonna be it's gonna be like a very toxic video. It's about um, it's not gonna be like gameplay, but it's gonna be funny. Something something funny. At least I thought it was funny. But at the beginning of the video or at the end of the video, one of the two, or I might you know what? I take that back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna toast the one on Tuesday. Tuesday, I'm gonna tell you my full stream schedule because we're all going back to school. And we all hate school. <laughs> we all hate school. But we're going back to school, and I'm having an actual stream schedule for you guys. They're telling you what, when I'm streaming, um, the time, the place, blah blah blah, and all that stuff. So I really hope, hope you guys um, tune into that. Thank you for enjoying the video. I really do appreciate it, and I will talk to you all later.